Today, we're going to look at the WordPress integration with Lilt, which enables you to quickly and easily pull content from your WordPress site into Lilt to be translated, and then seamlessly push that content back to WordPress to be published. The WordPress integration is run through the WPML or WordPress multilingual plugin. So what you'll do is go to WPML.org and then go up to documentation, go to FAQ, and then you'll see in the FAQ how to download and install WPML. You'll click that, go to read more, and then right here is a page with all of the information you need to better understand how to manually download and install the WPML plugin. So once you've done that and you've actually installed that on your WordPress instance, then we need to go up to documentation, translation and management systems integrated with WPML, and you'll find Lilt here at the top. If you click details, you'll be brought to the documentation to show how to integrate WPML and Lilt. So now I'm gonna walk you through how to actually do that. So now that WPML is installed, we'll go to our WordPress site and log in. And you can see WPML shows up on the left-hand side. If we hover over it and then go to translation management, you're brought to the translation management section. Now what we'll do is go over and click translation services. And we're brought over to the translation services page. Now Lilt is already activated on this page, but typically what you would see the first time is something that says, I'm looking for a translation service. And there'll be a list of possible options. You'll scroll through that list, find Lilt and click activate. Now, once we've done that, we'll need to go over and add some languages. So we'll click languages, and then we'll click add remove languages. Let's add Arabic and click save. And you can see now Arabic is added there. Now we'll navigate over and create a new post by going up to posts and hitting add new. So now we'll create a test post. So once we're done, we'll go to save draft and then navigate back over to the left-hand side, click translation management. And now we're brought to the translation dashboard. So we'll go down and see our integration test post here. We'll select it and then scroll all the way down and choose the language that we want. Here, let's just select German. So we'll click do nothing for Arabic and add our selected content to the translation basket. Once we do that, you can see the translation basket up here linking. So we'll click that, and then we'll click send all items for translation. So now that our items have been sent to Lilp, we can actually click this continue to Lilp button to view them there. You can see that post in the ready to start section. So let's click in. And normally what would happen here is this would get assigned to a translator who would then translate it. And then that would get assigned to a reviewer to review and accept it. Uh, but in this case, we'll just speed through that. All right, so we have translated. Now let's go to review. So now that that document is completely translated, let's go back to WordPress. So now we'll go back to the WordPress dashboard and navigate back to the WPML plugin and click translation management and then go to translation jobs. And we can see our WordPress integration test post has been translated and it's good to go. That about covers it for our WordPress and Lilt integration, which enables you to pull content from WordPress to be translated in Lilt and then push that content back seamlessly to be published in WordPress.